a secret move, secret bike life move. Ew, that bike nice. Look at that. Dude. I'm a professional. That's it. That's it, Corey. Where you at? Where you at, Corey? Water. Give me water. They really thought I was kidding about not being able to wheelie. Really. Bum, ba dum, bum, bum. Yeah, you a bum. You, yeah, you. No, not you, not the viewer, but the guy behind the camera. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to make a confession. Y'all see how I'm doing the secret move, right? How many of y'all do the secret move right here? It's a secret move, secret bike life move. Flip your pocket inside out and rock your phone there. I'm gonna make a confession. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this confession? What's up with my brake line? Yo, my brake line look all aki. Why is this y'all not out? <laughs> Trying to look crazy, right? Alright, y'all, so I'm about to put y'all D to a fun fact. Well, that ain't that fun, I guess. <laughs> like, tune. How's it a fun fact? Y'all want to hear something crazy? This 30-year-old person that's talking to you right now, who's been on Earth for roughly 30 years, right? Can't wheelie a bicycle. What? But, tune, I just saw you wheeling blocks, like, on the scooter. Like, how you... How you can't wheelie a bicycle, but you can wheelie a block or two on the scooter? Listen, bro, I can't explain it. Um, I mean, the only way I can just break it down to y'all is when I was a kid instead of getting a bicycle as my first uh, entertainment gift one of the very first gifts I got as weird as it sounds is a set of rollerblades yup sad right <laughs> set of rollerblades I mean it's not that sad but yeah I was like nine I think I was nine ten I remember being like nine ten and I got a set of rollerblades for Christmas yeah and I was rocking them Johns, yeah, tune, know how to ride rollerblades, like I'm nice, I'll be out, front wears, back wears, all that stuff, jumping off of stuff, I'm comfortable on rollerblades. Unfortunately, man, your boy Tune ain't learned how to ride a bicycle till he was like 11, bro. Yeah, yo, sad, right? I was 11 years old, ew, that bike nice, look at that John, that John, tough, Harley Davidson. Uh, yeah, yo, sad enough, man, sad enough it is to say is that I ain't learned till I was about 11, dog. I had training wheels on a crunch. My first bike was like a 20-inch crunch or something. Yeah, y'all don't even remember about that. Y'all know nothing about them bikes. I'm about to name some classic bikes. Who remember? Diamondback, GT, Schwinn, um, Harrow. Dino, Dino was GT, you know, there was some Dinos, there was some GTs. But like, when you talk about Redline, you know that's throwback. Who remember Redline? Anyway, if I miss any bike names, comment below the, the OG bike names that, that I missed. Your boy Tune didn't learn until about 11 and, you know, fast forward throughout life, I rode bikes throughout my whole life. I could do a bunch of other cool tricks, surf and all that other stuff on bikes, bar spins and stuff. One thing I never learned was that brake balance point and I was on a little 20 inch Harrow growing up. I never really, really learned that. You know what I mean? I had a couple of Harrows, had the Dave Mirrors and all that. Our bikes back then used to run, at the time, it was crazy expensive. It was like, to us, it was like, what? 500, 5, 550, you know what I mean? Now these kids are spending what? 800, 900, or their parents are spending eight, 900, a stack on a bike. Well, our bikes like, were traditionally about 50, 200, 250, 300 maybe. And then the expensive bikes, 500, they had six, seven, eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollar bikes back then. But like as a kid, we wasn't fortunate enough to get a nine hundred dollar bike, unless I don't know. Fast forward, you know, I I had a variety of other hobby skills and stuff growing up, but I never got into the William thing. Um, I did a bunch of other things and everything I did, I, I did my best at mastering it. The one thing I never mastered was William. Lame, right? So lame, bro. Give it a thumbs up if that's just lame. Listen, I got 30 minutes or so on this battery, so I gotta keep stuff at a fast pace. And y'all gonna get to see what I can do within these 30 minutes of time. I'm out there to do this for anybody out there who thinks they can't Willie. It's never too late to learn how to Willie. Anything is possible, put your mind to it. Um, I'm gonna take you guys on a journey for August. I wanna dedicate August you know, to the month of the beast mode. Um, I wanna practice with y'all. Some days I may be able to do it you know, more than others. Roughly, I'm gonna try to at least do it an hour a day. At least, at minimum, an hour practice a day. It's kind of hard to squeeze that in, but I'll consider it like cardio. Y'all like, no, too, too, too lying, too cool, Willie, too cool, Willie. No, no, really, really, watch, watch, you wanna see this? What? Like that was the most weakest thing ever. Y'all heard that little chirp? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You see? You see? 
You see? I'm doing this for the people who think they can't do it. Shout out to my young boy, Marvis. Marvis, you gonna get it, bro. You gonna get it. You half my age and you gonna get it. I'm gonna really with y'all. I'm gonna learn with y'all. We gonna put this beast mode to some work together. And yeah, yeah, guys. I mean, I figured I'd bring you with me on this journey. Um, I, I documented when I learned how to really the little rough house 50. I documented that John and now y'all see me killing that John. Uh, so y'all can go watch my other vlogs where I was practicing and see that I actually showed my progress within about two weeks or so. I was, you know, way better than day one. So let's see where I get with a month, 30 days. Let's see what this 30 year old can do with 30 days of practice on the 2018 SE Beast Mode. No boy, get put it down. Oh, 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 ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh no, I, I need some speed, right? I've been seeing him get speed. <laughs> need speed, right? There you go, there you go, dude. Ah, I got three pedals. Ah, I'm a professional. That's it. That's it, Corey. Where you at? Where you at, Corey? Want to battle, Corey? Corey, I will battle you for a peanut chew, Corey. But it gotta be dark chocolate. Can't be milk chocolate because I'm vegan. <laughs> you ready? So much noise here, they're gonna ruin my, my professional audio quality, right? Hey, what y'all think they doing to, to American Street though? They removing all the tracks. Crazy, right? All right, let's see what I can do, let's see what I can do. Shut up, Tune. Oh, 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 I almost fell, I almost fell back. Yo, I would've fell back with y'all. Y'all would've been cracking up, like, yes! Tune fell. All right, so I'm gonna try to talk about this Willy process with you. I guess, rather than just showing you how to Willy, I'm gonna talk to you about what's going through my head. All right, so right now I'm trying to sit like at the far end of the seat rather than sitting comfortably where you're in the middle of the bike. I try to sit in the back a little bit. I cover the brake. I make sure to always cover that brake. It's so one thing you want to do is cover the brake. You don't want to fall. And it will happen. You will fall. Um, so cover that brake. And then I guess I get a little bit more like momentum, a little speed. You don't want to do it from a standstill because the bottom is going to be complicated. And then depending on your predominant foot, let me see. Right foot, left foot. I'm predominantly right foot, so I guess I would want to crank with my right, right? So I'm going to get some speed, cover that brake, and then I'm going to... No, BS! No, that was my left. I crank with my left. Watch. Yeah, crank with my left. Look at that. Oh, 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 two months to crash into the sign. Yo, these brakes suck. I almost ran into that sign, dog. Like, why ain't hear no... Eh! Why ain't hear no screech? What's up with the screech? Hold on. There you go. <laughs> They're like, Tune, those brakes suck, dude. Upgrade. Nah, that's cool, man. I like to leave things stock. One thing you learn about tune is I like to leave things stock. You ready? Oh, no. That was horrible. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go, Tune. Oh! Yeah, but there goes your proof. There goes your proof in the pudding. Tune can't really. But it's cool. We about to do this. Uh, whoa, whoa, oh my back. I'm too old for this, I'm a whole fart. <laughs> so now, 30 years young, bro. Some of my viewers are probably 15. Ain't it crazy that 15 years ago, I was your age, riding around with my friends, and you were probably just born? You was probably in the hospital, I rode by the hospital. On my Harrow surfing like this. I used to be like this. I used to be on both pegs and I used to like, they're like, yeah, tune, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. No, no, I used to like, like do bar spins and, or like stand on the side of the pegs and a bunch of weird stuff. <laughs> surfing it, you know how, what's his name, Rex B surfing it and stuff, yeah. But I haven't did that stuff in a long time. Especially on this bike. <laughs> Whoa, that was crooked. Then I got all this headgear on my head. I feel like I'm an operator with this. This device. Woo, I'm sweating. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't able to put on a rear camera because I broke my mount. That rear mount that I had on the, come on, y'all, on the 50. See, this is a good part about a bike, you see? You see, this is the most beneficial part about a bike. Now I see why kids love bikes. <laughs> I still love bikes. You don't gotta, I mean, in the city, it's helpful to follow the law. <laughs> But for the most part in the hood, man, do whatever you want. All right, shut up to him, Willie. Oh no, these headphones feel like they're about to slip off. That's ruining my concentration. No excuses, Tune, stop making excuses. Oh man, I'm about to take these headphones off. Y'all about to have to deal with a silent vlog for, for a little bit because they're going up the wrong way. See, I love bicycles. Oh, almost took an L right there. 
that would have been a nice L. And I ain't even going back far, you see? But y'all gonna learn with me. Make sure to subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Because every day you're gonna be getting notified when my vlogs drop. And even if the whole vlog isn't based around William, because I can't base them all 30 around William, I still gotta be productive and you know, I'll still be doing shoots and I'll still be doing stuff. It's not gonna be that easy, like I said, to get this whole practice in. That was my whole deficit growing up. Like, my, what I lacked, time, putting time. I never applied actual thought into the willy process. I was like, oh, I gotta focus on work, I gotta focus on school, I gotta focus this, that, the third. Or when I got into cars, I started focusing on cars. And when I got into automotive stuff, I started focusing on automotive stuff. And I gravitated away from the bicycle. But it's never too late, y'all. Whoa. I see. Ah, my back hurts. That's the thing, kids. Take care of yourself. Eat well. Eat good food. Treat your body good. Make sure to eat good food because it it replenishes your body. It makes you feel better. Like you are what you eat. You know what I mean? It helps you last longer. Instead of pimping out your bike, pimp out your body. You feel me? I mean, no, don't don't pimp it out. Don't don't sell your body. But like. You know what I mean? Like, invest in your body. There you go. There you go, too. Whoa, y'all saw that? Oh, man. But y'all see, right? It's about putting a little bit of thought process. I'm gonna bust a U-turn here so they might see me fall. This bike is like a gigantic BMX bike. Seriously, it's like a gigantic BMX bike. First of all, it's size appropriate for me. It fits me perfect. This is like, what a 20 inch would be to scale for, for me. You know what I mean? This is a perfect scale. This is a 27.5 inch frame. Um, I don't know how those little mini young bulls. Shout out to my young bull, One Way Edwin and all them. One Way Nell. Shout out to all the One Way guys. and Just all the young bulls, the SOB guys. Shout out to the Bike Star kids. Shout out to all the young bulls. But I don't know how some of them young bulls, they'd be really short. They'd be on something bigger than this. They'd be on like the 29er, 29 inch. And they'd be killing it. There you go. Oh, uh, cricket. Yeah, they be killing it, bro. But then again, you gotta keep in mind, those kids are spending eight, nine, 10 hours a day riding all day, perfecting their craft, perfecting their skill. You know, Rex ain't get nice overnight. He had to put hours and hours and hours. Corey ain't get nice overnight. Well, how long he been willing? Seven plus years? And every year he gonna continue getting better. And it's like your muscle memory. He got the muscle memory ready. So every day he heals and his arms get more healed and stronger. He picking that joint up like, like a feather. It's like when I be on the 50, like in the beginning, it was a struggle picking it up. But since I got that balance point, I'm sorry I'm talking, y'all. There's so much traffic, y'all see that? So much traffic. But as I started picking it up and I got used to it, a couple days when I come back to it, boy, I was just walking the blocks. So I'm assuming that's the same that should happen with the beast mode. But we'll see and we'll test my theory. Right now, this is the worst time to try to practice. <laughs> There you go. There you go, Toon. Right there. There you go, Toon. Oh, I did like a whole a car and a half. Get some speed, Toon. Shut up. Whoa. Oh, these headphones, dog. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Make mental notes itself. William with these cheap $6.99 headphones on the bicycle is not fun. It's like every time I lift up, they're about to come off my head. And then I got the head strap on and I got the chest strap. I got a phone hanging out my pocket. It's not the most ideal situation, but shut up and stop making complaints, Toon. No, go back, Toon. Go back more. Bob back more. No, I need speed. You see, when you go from a complete standstill, it sucks. That's why them kids be out. They be like, yo, 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 go, yo, go faster. And they go like 10, 15 miles an hour, and then they whip that joint up. Whoa, almost fell. They be like, yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. I just bust my longest willy in this vlog. Y'all haters. <laughs> They're like, two, you willy, five yards. Kids, this is math time. How many feet is five yards? Well, in each yard, is three feet, right? Three times five is what? 15 feet, bitches. <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional, dog. I'm about to willy the whole front of your house. Come on, man. Yo, what's up with all these, these BMWs? Remember when BMWs used to be luxury cars? Now they're all in the hood. Same thing with Benzes and all that. They used to be rare oddities. Now everybody and their grandma financing one. 
Even if they buy them out cash, you what? You can get a used Beamer for five, six stacks nowadays. Seven stacks, eight stacks. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, crooked. I should just be rocking back to the balance point. But I ain't gonna fraud, I ain't got this balance point on Smash yet. These wheels are so much bigger than the 50. Like I was saying earlier, this is on size appropriate. For real, for it's bigger than the 50. And this might be bigger than the Rough House, physically. Like, believe it or not, this bicycle might be bigger than my 50cc street legal scooter that's insured and registered to the state of Pennsylvania. You feel me? Crazy, it's a big bicycle. It's like a dirt bike. It's like a little KX85, a 125 big, big wheel drill, right? All right, man, I only got a few more minutes. This vlog went on way too long already. But y'all got the point, man. Y'all know the goal, y'all know the plan. This is more or less of a self-development project, you can say. You know what I mean? And I plan on giving you guys some more exclusive views on the beast mode with the action cameras. You guys know I got four action cameras. Probably another one, two coming on the way this month. So make sure to subscribe. We about to get freaky with it. And guess what? If I learn with y'all, we, we learn together. And I think that's dope. Come check me out by day 30. Day 30 will be dope to see where my progress has gone. You feel me? Oh, man. Obviously, my progress hasn't gotten anywhere yet. <laughs> they really thought I was kidding about not being able to really. Now, yo, Tune, you lying. Ask Lex. <laughs> Ask Lex. Lex to verify. Why they beeping? Funny part is, is that I be still trying to hit my little turn signals with this John. I still be trying to like press my, my horn. I be looking for mirrors. I'm so used to riding the, the street legal John. Yo, I'm sweating, bro. I'm dying. Water. Give me water. Give me water. Oh, no. <sighs> I don't know why people be right behind you. They see you on a bicycle and they go, they drive faster and closer. Like I'm a vehicular device operator. I operate a motor vehicle as well. But I don't tailgate any youth I see. I don't tailgate anyone I see. If they're on a bicycle or if they're like on a, a dirt bike or something, I don't rush them. Like I let them do their thing. Like they're a human being. At the end of the day, you're trying to feel me? Like people, people should be ashamed, especially the, the adults. Adults should know better. No, adults ain't nothing. They just gigantic kids. Kids with, with what they call jobs. That get paid pieces of paper that entitles them. Oh. That was tough. You see? <laughs> After the motivational speech came the storm. I was like, yeah, I'm going to bring rain down on y'all. Say no. Ten seconds later. Whoa! Whoa! This is how the day turned out. Yo! Yo! This is how the day turned out for two and trying to learn how to willy. Ah! I told you after the willy come the storm. <laughs> Yo! Get out of town. Oh snap. I almost dropped my Bentley. There you go. There you go. That's it. 